Oh, can't. Oh, I can't ride ride on here. Oh, that's weird. It's gotta be something back here. Aha! A max potion. That's not that bad. I'll take that. So our team has changed a little bit since the last time you've been here, Banana Man. We got Masquerada, Palma, Heracross, Dragonite, Iron Treads, and uh, Cerulege. I've been playing a lot of Halo Wars 2 and Bone Labs. I don't know what Bone Labs is, but Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2 have some awesome cutscenes. I wasn't a fan of the whole strat gameplay, though. Although I am kind of excited to try out um, Minecraft Legends, if you've uh, seen that. It's like the same gameplay as, uh, you know, those strat games like Halo Wars 2. But everything all Minecrafty, obviously. But um, it looks very interesting. It looks super dope. I definitely want to try that out. So I'm probably just going to skip up on all these Pokemon. Uh, wait, actually, I don't have a lot of these Pokemon, I don't think. So this is the inside of the Great Crater of Paldea, Area Zero. Okay, yeah, we'll catch all these. Because I do need them, so I'll just go ahead and start using Quick Walls. Bone Labs is a game on Oculus. Oh, bro, I've been wanting to do um, VR games for a minute. Me and Drake have been talking about it. The thing is, right when we decided we wanted to for sure get VR, um, they went up in price. All the the metas, the meta, two, the meta and the meta two, they went up by a hundred dollars base across the board. Like literally, the day before we were like, okay, we're gonna get it, and then the day, uh, the next day, everything went in price up by a hundred dollars. If they were still three hundred dollars for a two hundred and fifty-six gigabyte version of the meta two, I would buy it. I would legitimately buy it right now. And we'd be playing like Demio, that Dungeons and Dragons game, and um, what do you call it? And uh, you know, like uh, Population One and stuff like that. Some horror games like Phasmophobia. I think that'd be real fun. But we just never, we never got to do it because the price just got so insanely high. All right, we're just gonna do play rough. Hopefully, this doesn't kill. Okay, and then we can hit him with an Ultra Ball again. Probably should have stocked up on Pokeballs on the way down here, honestly. You used an Ultra Ball. I sure fucking did. It better work. You son of a bitch. It's like he heard me. He's like, oh, I better work, huh? Well, if you get the Oculus, I'll play with you sometime, maybe? Oh, for sure, man. Stick around. I mean, eventually we're gonna get it. I'm thinking next Black Friday, though. Like, whenever it's on a big sale for, like, another hundred, like, back to normal price, basically, then I'll, we'll probably pick it up. But at the current price right now, I just can't justify it. Giraffe rig, the long neck Pokemon. Imagine being described by a roast. <laughs> normal psychic. Giraffe rig's tail has a small head. It instinctively bites at any foe that approaches the Pokemon from behind. Because of the new update, there's a way to get your videos onto your phone to upload them to YouTube. I saw that. I saw that you could actually edit videos on VR. It's so dope. I don't know how to do it or anything, obviously, but I've heard that's a thing. I don't think we have this one. I mean, we could go back and capture that Raichu, but if I see one up ahead, which I'm sure I will, we'll just catch it there. Plus, it sucks because, like, the YouTube editor that I use, it fucking, it crashes a lot. So when I'm editing, like, multiplayer videos like that, it's just so annoying. I don't really use the editing software on the Oculus. I use CapCut. CapCut, huh? I have Canva, and I could edit my videos like that, but I don't like that I don't get to see my voice spikes, and that's what I use to edit, like, as quickly as possible. I make sure, like, to go to the parts where we're laughing or screaming, and then I, like, make sure that those are the parts included in my videos, but I can't see those last spikes or voice lines in Canva, which sucks. But it's definitely a better editor than just a base YouTube editor. CapCut is easy, easy to use, and it's free on your phone. Ooh, I might have to check that out. 
Thing is, I'm not a real big phone person. I just I hate how tiny the screen is and everything. Alright, can we catch this damn moth? Yeah, we can. Let's go. Frost moth, what's caught? Oh, there's a Corviknight here. Jeez. This circling penny. Frost moth, a frost moth Pokemon. Ice bug. It causes blizzards as it flies around with its huge, chill, emanating wings. Clean melt water is its favorite drink or thing to drink. Getting a lot of Pokemon here. And we kind of need to because we've been slacking on the um, the old Pokedex. Insidio, that's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Without more? I don't, I don't think so. Call the Professor if he's down here. Don't get along. None of your business, Pipsqueak. Jeez, no need to bite my head off. What are you getting all huffy for anyway? Okay, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's have a good time. <laughs> Man, they're really getting on each other's ass down here. <laughs> Damn. Fresh water. Bro, why am I crawling? <laughs> what is this? I'm like moving at the speed of not sound. I don't have a PC, so it's really my best bet. Oh, I feel that. I've got a laptop I used for engineering when I went to uh, ASU, but it's old now and it's got a bunch of bugs with it. I don't know anything about like PC or laptop maintenance or how to do it properly, so... I'm sure it's just a maintenance thing, and I just don't know how to properly do it on laptops. PC's a little easier, you know, you open up the case, you dust it off with a can of air, and make sure make sure to run out of your drivers and everything, and you should be good. Let's get this right, you. Speaking of, I need a new PC for streaming. This one is, a, uh, it's holding together for now, but I can tell it's, uh, it's getting a little rusty. Like I said, this used to be my engineering um, laptop. So I think I got it like five years ago. It's one of those uh, Omen PCs, like 2017, 2018 Omens. Raichu, Mouse Pokemon Electric. If the electric pouches on his cheek become fully charged, both ears will stand up straight. I hate uh, gaming laptops too because you have to have them plugged into the wall and that just drains their battery naturally. And if you're not plugged into the wall, you also don't get your full frame rate or performance, so it just sucks. Braviary, let's hit him with a quick ball. One, two, three. You bitch. The old PC I have is an old Mac. Oh no. I hated using Macs. I hated it with the passion. I had to use it for one of my classes, my game design class in high school, and I just didn't like it. The whole Safari thing, just how it felt. I just, I didn't like them. I did not like them. We used the um the ones that looked like PCs, not any of the like Air Mac Pros or anything. Actually, I'm running, so I'm not gonna have Masquerade die right now. I'm not trying to add another five push-ups. Where cookies are your big help with getting all that sorted? Wow, so you helped me out too while he was tackling all the gyms. That's weird. What about you, Nimona? Can I open my bag, please? Cookies and I are classmates, neighbors back home too. Plus, I said I should aim to be champion, and he did, so now I'm, he's a champion too. Wait, what? That's wild. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got a cool friend for origin with cookies? They're nothing compared to me and him went through. Our friendship's on another level. Um, nobody asks you. Stop trying to flex on us. <laughs> Guess we're all in with buds with the cookies gang. I think that's what they said. I don't know. I was trying to open the bag the whole time. It wouldn't let me. Oh, we're all in the buds with cookies club is what she was saying. Yeah, it wouldn't let me open my bag and heal this Meowscarado while I was uh, in that whole little dialogue thing. The dialogue is real cool and interesting so far with them. but They're a little dynamic, but... Um, I don't like that it doesn't let me open my bag or anything. So there's one of the stations. I'm assuming we can't miss them. Like they're gonna be along the way in our path. 
There's another one down there. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if there's going to be one in front of us, which is why I don't want to drop yet. Let's just make sure there's not one over here. Alright guys, so we've got about another hour on the stream. Then I'm going to wrap things up, start transferring everything over to YouTube. And then uh, get ready to watch the Super Bowl. I'm a bit hype on that. Well, I gotta go my sister's gymnastics competition, so bye, and try not to do that many push-ups. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Always love having you around. You know, have fun over there at the gymnastics meet. Tell your sister good luck on my behalf, and hopefully, you know, they do good. See you around, banana man. Alright, I guess we can just go down to this one, down here. So right now we're seeing a lot of the same repeat Pokemon, so I don't know if we're going to see these Pokemon the whole time, or... Oh, I bet you that's what we're looking for. <clears throat> that must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what are they called? Radish rations? <laughs> Research stations? What the fuck? Well, I was close. I don't think so. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. Well, what's great is the common sense compared to you lot, apparently. <laughs> Shreen, what the fuck? Oh, what the heck is that? It's that Pokemon that Gita had. Yeah, that's the Pokemon Lepi Meta uses. I don't know what species it could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Cookies, let's take it on together. Whoa. Glimmer. <laughs> I, sound, I sound like a diva. Glimmer. Go, man. Ooh, a double battle. Nice. I'm assuming we have to... We can't catch this one. Yeah, we can't catch this one. Okay, we'll just flower trick it then. Ooh, critical hit. This lichen rock should be able to kill it. Toxic debris. Real one. Ooh, what a move. Fucking fang over fang jutsu over here. The wild Gomorrah has fainted. I'm sure there's a bunch of cool strats for double battles on competitive with all these new Pokemon. So there's gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Era Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Excuse me, I don't really think that was patronizing, I just think it was like, hey, look, if you thought that was tough, there's a lot tougher down. Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't know the definition of patronizing, but, I mean, it just didn't sound like a dick thing he was saying. <laughs> like, I'm just throwing that out there. Alright, so let's get into this research, this radish ration over here. Oh, it didn't let me pick up that glowy thing. Why is the music so ominous? Oh my god. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Oh, that's good. Cookies, if you would be so kind as to dispose your first lock on the lab using the central panel. So these are going to be our Pokemon stations. That's good to know. I wish you could buy Pokeballs, though. I really fucked up by not getting more. You heard the Professor. Better press it. Lock disabled. Three or four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. I guess we'll rest up here, too. Ding, 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 ding. You masquerade and let your partner feel full of energy again. Is there anything else down here? The door seems broken. It won't work. Okay, so there is doors. Oh, there's another one over here. It's probably broken as well. Yep, door seems broken. Do they say anything? 
I wanted to check out the other rooms, but the doors are busted, so yeah, this is going great. <laughs> Looks like you can get a decent rest on the bed there if you get your team tired, although it's kind of mildewy. That is the worst smell, bro, mildew. I wonder if my dad ever worked here. Oh, what is that? Oh, wait, no, it's like a teleporter thing. I'm assuming it'll teleport you, like, back to the top, but, like, we're already at the top, so it's good to try it out now. Uh, there it is. Where would you like to go? Oh, yep, see, zero gate, never mind. So it'll probably transport you from gate to the four stations and then the very bottom. Oh, geez, voice crack. <clears throat> yeah, the allergies do that to you. I almost never saw my dad my entire life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? <laughs> Penny, shh. He was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I picture myself clean for myself, but I was the only one I had to talk to. Yeah, I feel like a dick now, don't you, Penny? So yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he is my dad. I'm trying not to think about it too much. Try to just be proud that he was a famous genius. But the truth is, I would have rather just had a dad who was there, even if something... I haven't seen him in ages now, unless you count seeing blah blah blah. I use at least emails sometimes, but even those stopped. And then he appears out of the blue and tells me we've got to get to Area Zero. Some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Yeah. No, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry. Uh, Penny, my name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. <laughs> hey, don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. Yeah, friendship. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to run to this Pokemon, did it? We already have a Floatle, I'm pretty sure. Or Floet. Uh, we actually just got some Flonase. I gotta try it out. It's like one of those like uh, allergy pumps you put through your nose. Last time I came to the Great Crater something, something I got about this far that I attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Really, what kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like a crazy weird metallic machine thing. What the fuck? Sure, it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, robot-y than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature altogether. I hurt my real bad, so it's not like I forget. I never want to run into that awful thing again. Damn. It was that strong, huh? And I really hope we get to see it. That's why I figured you say... <laughs> You're real tactless sometimes, Amona, you know that? Knockley sliding down, that poor thing. We can go back up with Y if we want to, that's good to know. Oh my god, it's a Garganackle. Alright, so we're at the second research station now. The second research station, about time too. If you walk like this slow the whole time, I can see why Andre didn't want to go back and forth. <laughs> Although I know Andre was mashing A at the dialogue because they literally tell you that you could sleep at these things and he said he needed to heal. And he was not he healed up at like the last battle. Phew, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student counselor girl. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. <clears throat> yeah, there you are, Andre. <laughs> Your ass definitely didn't read the dialogue. I knew it. Hey, look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. Hey, wait, that's no Della Bird. He's robotic. Deli? Oh my gosh, so cute. Dit. D -d 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 -bird. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> Cookies, it's a battle time. He's got little skis on his feet. His feetsy doodles. Alright, look at this Della Bird. <coughs> <coughs> Iron Bundle, what a name. What the fuck? Just happened. 
Right? Flower shook his ass. The sun came out, apparently. Then it went back away. What the fuck? Super effective. Oh my god, Iron Bundle got Iron League got. The wild Iron Bundle has fainted. Oh, that's a lot of XP, too. Damn. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a Delibird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Bitch, actually she's playing Phasmophobia or something. <laughs> Your poker dice have been updated. Alright, let's get in here, activate the second one, and rest up. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. <clears throat> Seems like wild Pokemon didn't come in here. We should be able to s save, s search, and catch a breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of them stuffed a brutal blow, or suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for some time. Monsters of Area Zero. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. Monsters of Area Zero, so they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Cookies? I think they're regular Pokemon. I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battles just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Or God, I hope so. Professor, some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons a future Pokemon to this place. What the fuck? So the thing my dad spent forever researching down there, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost is catastrophic. The cost. But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future, however, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. For real. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arv and I... If possible, I would like to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Cookies, please use the central panel here and disable any- <coughs> Sorry, I was fighting off a cough sneeze at the same time. Uh, another lock on my lap. Yep, disable a lock. We'll check the doors, and then we'll rest up and talk to the people, and we'll head out. Well done, please continue your efforts at the remaining research station. Hey, Cookies. You know that the book he had, he told me to bring, I think it's got something to do with this place. Or maybe, like, everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. You obtained the Violet Book. You put the Violet Book in your bag's key item inventory slot. A record of expedition that the Arthur Heath went on within the great crater of Paldea. The book has a name Turo written on it clumsy, in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it for me, okay, Cookies? Oh, I just started sliding. The door seems broken. It won't work. The door seems broken. It can't be. It just can't. But then who? Seriously, a time machine? Feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something for real. I can't believe I got to battle Pokemon from a whole different era. This is incredible. I'm so glad I came here with you. Alright, let's rest up. And then we shall continue onwards to the third research station. Let's see, let's see what we got now. What we got, what we got, what we got now. What are your parents like, Nomono? My parents? Normal, I guess. 
Are you serious? Even I know your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? <laughs> Everyone knows that he's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So Nimona's actually some pampered princess from a rich family. Ooh! Uh, no way, that's not my thing. Though, yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say mother and father were, like, hands-off, but in a good way. My big sister probably take over the business, so... Oh, I didn't get to see. That's some pampered little princess stuff right there. My, my family is unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean. It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames like Pen Pen. That'd be me. I'm not gonna cap. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. <laughs> Man, that's a real downer for your dad having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Why not? Uh, cookies, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of the amazing looking sandwich she made too. Yeah, she do be a nice sandwich maker. Really, wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. <clears throat> a mild mint. Hey, mint's a pretty good item. Nothing crazy. Hopefully we get to this third. Oh, there it is, the third research station. Yeah, I can definitely see how Andre was saying this is kind of long. It's just because you can't get them right on the back and stuff, but still. <clears throat> Bunch of Corviknights, damn. Still haven't seen, like, I mean, we've seen Area Zero Pokemon, but we haven't seen them just, like, out and about. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the tree. Time to battle another one. Alright, another research station. Let's see what we got this time. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. Ha, uh, oh Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? Oh, there we go, Iron Treads, word on it. See, see. Wait a sec, it's just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along. Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Cookies and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. A. Hey. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Have a stiff. All right, let's just hit him with some some actual fire here. A nice flower trick. <laughs> oh, about half health is a crit. Not the worst. You dick. Come on, Mavis stiff, get his ass. His speed went up. Oh shit. Oh, fire fang did work. Alright, we'll go ahead with another flower trick. Hopefully we're still faster. Nope, we're not. Okay, but he didn't do that much damage. And we got healing right here at the research station or the radish ration. My bad. Nice, Mascarado's almost level 69. Holy shit. See, that's victory hours. Or, oh my god. See, that victory's hours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching for the Herbal Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our creator get together? Jealous. Uh, if we get things from our literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. <laughs> Isn't Professor Turo doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? She's kind of right on that. Yeah, right, because it's not like, oh, so brilliant Professor Turo ever messes up. Come on, Cookies, let's get into the research station. The Radish Ration. Damn. Radish Ration 3. We're almost to the fourth one. So we can definitely make it to the fourth by the end of the stream, so that's good. And made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Uh, you feeling rough, Penny? Hmm, oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came 
to our time from the future, right? So what about Moraidon? Isn't it pretty likely that he also came from one of those future Pokemon? You're right. Huh. Good luck. What do I need good luck with? Andre was down here. I think you're on to something. Is it kind of giving off future vibes? Even if names sound future-y. Jesus, can't talk. Wait a second, I totally forgot. Hey, Orvin. You had Maridon's ball, and you told us about the forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then, but to tell you what I know, that Pokemon Maridon, that is, it was found by my dad when he was working on this time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor. Maridon, which I entrusted to cookies, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously. Through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar. The Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Moridon. Ah. Huh, you mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with Marmar Idol. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'd be if they can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Cookies, please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Alright. Let's start going through the motions, see if any of the side doors open up as well. Lock disabled. One of the four locks is still enabled. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to the final research station. Right, let's see what we got here. Nothing on the door. It won't even tell me. Okay. Won't work. I am getting a little hungry. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it is about to be 3 o'clock. These plot twists really took it to heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. If the older of the other Pokemon really is the only family it has left in the world, it must want to get back together again, right? For sure. You can leave any wild Pokemon up to me. I'll have them beat in no time so we can march on. Okay, we haven't saved the game in a while, so we're going to go ahead and save once we come out here. <laughs> 